Hi there, I'm Gary Sharp. Welcome to the Hazmat IQ by Federal Resources Chemical of the Month, and this is our First Responder Offensive FRO Edition. Let's start by reviewing the four steps of the FRO system. Anytime you're dispatched to a hazmat incident, we're always going to use the above the line size up. If you look at your Hazmat IQ FRO charts, on chart number one, we have both the above the line and the below the line size up. If you're using chart one or chart two, that's if you have the first name of a chemical. When we're first dispatched and we don't know what the product involved is, we're always going to use the above the line SOG. That's the worst case scenario out of the two. As we're responding, we're going to try to gather more information using the container, uh, the placard, occupancy clues, and that'll change our size up. So on this month's FRO, as we're responding, we get some more information. Crews on the scene can see this placard. It's a red placard uh, with a, a three at the bottom and it says combustible. So now we're able to eliminate some of the hazards. Our above the line size up already included all of the possible hazards. As soon as you know that that placard, look for charts number five and six and try to find a placard that matches. On chart five, if you scroll down here, look at number seven. Those placards match this one, but in addition to the color and the number at the bottom, you got big information by the word combustible. Combustible versus flammable has to do with the flashpoint. If something's combustible, it has a flashpoint above 140 degrees. Not only are we asking ourselves, is it flammable? The question is, is it flammable today? If the spill temperature, if the liquid that's spilled on the ground is not at least 140 degrees, it's not going to be flammable today. It's one less hazard that we have to deal with. As you go across the charts, we see the hazards that can be included in that placard, including flammable, toxic, corrosive, polymerize, and it could form a peroxide. The initial hot zone is 150 feet because it's a liquid. There are no gases that have the number three at the bottom of the placard. The initial PPE is always turnout gear and SCBA for the first responders. And then if you go across to the right, we have all the possible meter readings that you could receive uh, from the instruments in your safe kit. The instrument in the safe kit include the rad meter, F and pH paper, the temperature gun, and then a multi-gas meter with CGI and O2. When we're dealing with placard 7, you notice there's no X on the rad meter. You should not get any radiation readings on this incident. Your pH paper could change red or blue. You should not see any change on your fluorine paper, so there's no yellow X in the box. There's an X for temperature gun. The temperature gun we're going to use a couple ways. We're going to check the, the container for increased temperature, indicating a chemical reaction, possibly a polymerization. We can also use the temp temperature gun to check the temperature of the product on the ground. Even though the, t the ambient temperature might only be 80 degrees, if the sun beats down on this pooled product or it's on a dark colored surface, we could still increase the temperature maybe as much as one and a half times the air temperature. So the question, even though the, we said the flash point was 140, could the sun heat the product up to the point it becomes flammable? So we'll shoot our temperature gun uh, on the product. We'll look at the temperature, and in this case, we'll say that it says 139 degrees. Even though 139 is below 140, would you treat it as flammable? Uh, absolutely. Right? Horseshoes, hand grenades, and flashpoint. Close counts. So using the Hazmat IQ system, you can quickly size up the chemical. If we don't know, we're going to use the above the line. As we're responding, we can look at placards and containers. We can get more information because remember, getting more information eliminates some of the hazard. It's never going to get worse than the above the line size up. For more information about our Hazmat IQ FRO course, go to hazmatiq.com and tune in next month for our Chemical of the Month.